Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. I am here today to share all my unread books. It's the start of the year, let's reset all of our counts and let's see how many books I actually have on my physical TBR. All my physical unread books that I own that hopefully sometime throughout my lifetime I will read. This is also a way for me to sort of set the goal for how many books I need to read from my physical TBR in this year. That is because I have a goal to half my physical TBR. This is like the third year I have that goal. I think last year I had 129 books, which meant that I needed to read 65 books by the end of the year. I did not achieve that goal, but we will continue to keep up with it until I, I do. I would guess that I have about 130 to 140 books on my physical TBR. So I will share all of those with you today. If there's any book that you want me to pick up in particular, please share that in the comments. I might return to this video throughout the year and read your recommendations. So please share that. But I guess that without any further ado, let's have a look at my entire physical TBR. We have these three shelves to look at and then another one. And then some current reads I put aside as well. So. Hopefully, hopefully I have all my books now. Battle Royale by Koshin Takami. The Book of the Most Precious Substance by Sarah Gran. The Echo Wife by Sarah Gailey. Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. Horror Star by Grady Hendrix. House of Leaves by Mark C. Danielewski. Hypnotisören by Lars Kepler. Launch Something by Be Myung Hoon. Like a House on Fire by Caroline Hulse. Or Hulsey, I don't know. Misery by Stephen King. Vita Nostra by Marina and Sergei Diashenko. The Wedding Party by Tammy Cohen. The Adventures of Amina al Sirafi by Shannon Chakraborty. Ariadne by Jennifer Saint. City of Last Chances by Adrian Tchaikovsky. The Lights of Prague by Nicole Jarvis. Netherland Bone by T. King Fisher. Psyche and Eros by Luna McNamara. The Sword of Kaigen by Emil Wong. The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. When Women Were Dragons by Kelly Barnhill. The Wheel of the Many by James Islington. Angel Fall by Suzanne E. The Angel of the Crows by Catherine Addison. Assassin's Apprentice by Robin Hobb. The City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty. The City of Dusk by Tara Sim. Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Su Lin Tan. The Fellowship of the Ring by G.R.R. Tolkien. Foundryside by Robert Jackson Bennett. Fourth Wing by Rebecca Jaros. Gideon the Ninth by Tamsin Muir. The Gunslinger by Stephen King. Half a Soul by Olivia Atwater. Heaven Officials Blessing Volume 1 by Mu Chang Tong Chu. Might have butchered that majorly. Apologies. Interview with the Vampire by Anne Rice. The Lies of Locke Lamora by Scott Lynch. The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet by Becky Chambers. Malice by John Gwine. The Mask of Mirrors by M.A. Carrick. Master of Sorrows by Yasin Call. The Merciful Crows by Margaret Owen. Metro 2033 by Dmitry Kluszowski. Traders Blade by Sebastian de Castel. We Hunt the Flame by Hafsa Faisal. Bookshops and Bone Dust by Travis Baldry. Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. Angel's Blood by Nalini Singh. The Bone Shard Daughter by Andrea Stewart. The Fires of Vengeance by Evan Winter. Fury Born by Claire Legrand. <laughs> Keeping it red for the aesthetics, okay? It's on my red shelf. Red Rising by Pierce Brown. The Ruin of Kings by Jen Lyons. The Girl in Red by Christina Henry. The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Audier. The Authenticity Project by Claire Poli, Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid, Cloud Cuckoo Land by Anthony Doerr, Freshwater by Akwaike Messi, My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell, Never Let Me Go by Kazu Ishiguro, Nothing Burns As Bright As You by Ashley Woodfolk, 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez, The People in the Trees by Hanya Yanagihara, Sharks in the Time of Saviors by Kawai Strong Washburn, Shaggy Bane by Douglas Stewart, The Splendid City by Karen Hewler, To Paradise by Hanya Yanagihara, Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabrielle Sevin. What You're Looking For is in the Library by Michiko Aoyama. Before They Are Hanged by Yo Abercrombie. Jade Legacy by Fonda Lee. The Hero of Ages by Brandon Sanderson. He Who Drowned the World by Shelley Parker Shan. The American Roommate Experiment by Elena Armas. Book Lovers by Emily Henry. From Luco with Love by Mariana Zapata. Guild by Raven Kennedy. It Ends With Us by Colleen Hoover. King of Wrath by Anna Huang. The Long Game by Elena Armas. Magnolia Parks by Yessa Hastings, Set on You by Amy Lee, 
Seven Days in June by Tia Williams, The True Love Experiment by Christina Lauren, Atomic Habits by James Clear, Kane's Jawbone by Torquemada, Factfulness by Hans Rosling, How to Be a Boss by Lily Singh, James Bond, The Authorized Biography by John Pearson, Mythos by Stephen Fry, Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind by Yuval Noah Harari, Smoke Gets in Your Eyes and Other Lessons from the Crematory by Caitlin Dari, So Här Blir Du Millionär i Hängmattan by Per H. Börjesson. <laughs> This is stupid. Kingdom of the Wicked by Kerry Maniscalco. A Magic Steeped in Poison by Judy I. Lynn. Six Crimson Cranes by Elizabeth Lim. A Song of Rage and Ruin by Roseanne A. Brown. Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. Harry Potter 4, 5, 6 and 7. King of Scars and Rule of Wolves by Lee Bardugo. This Savage Song by Wee E. Schwab. Obsidio by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Dracula by Bram Stoker. Girl Decoded by Rana L. Kaliobi. Conversations on Love by Natasha Lann, Box by Camilla Leckberg and Henrik Fexius. That's it for this shelf, or these shelves. No, I'm not keeping track of the number of books. Editing Charlotte is doing that, but let's head to my other bookshelf. Welcome to my second bookshelf, with some more special editions and Illumicrate books. And this year I am counting each book individually. Even though there are multiple novels in some of these books, I'm counting them as one book, because that is how I will track the books on Goodreads and in my reading log and stuff like that. One physical read, one physical book. War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. The Three Musketeers by Alexander Dumas. Jules Verne, Seven Novels. The Iliad and the Odyssey by Homer. The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. Classic tales of science fiction and fantasy. The Arabian Nights. A Marvelous Light by Freya Marske. Little Thieves by Margaret Owen. A River Enchanted by Rebecca Ross. Song of Silver Flame Like Night by Amelie Wen Zhao. The Red Scholar's Wake by Aliette de Bodard. The Principle of Moments by Esme Yukiemi Pearson. The Sun and the Void by Gabriela Romero La Cruz. The Chassad Air by Sara Hassem. Silver Nitrate by Silvia Moreno Garcia. Last to Leave the Room by Caitlin Starling. Starling House by Alex E. Harrow. Witch King by Martha Wells. According to my count, I have 112 plus 20 books on my physical TBR, so 132 books. Editing Charlotte will correct me. Hi friends, Editing Charlotte here, jumping in because I was confused when I was filming this. I ran around, I did make a count and realized I counted wrong. So the actual number is 131 books, which means that I need to read 65.5 books to have my physical TBR, which equals 66 books. But uh, just know that when Charlotte in this clip is saying 132 books, she doesn't know what she's talking about. She means 131 books, that is the correct count. I've counted it multiple times now, it is 131. I was correct in my latest monitoring my physical TBR, but we can still say that it requires 66 books to be read in order to half it, just so we're doing it. I don't know, even numbers, whatever. 131 books, 66 books to read to half it. Good. Don't listen to her, she doesn't know what she's talking about. But in the case that I have 132 books on my physical TBR, it means that I need to read, hold up, I want to do this correctly, 132 divided by 2. I need to read 66 books of my physical TBR in 2024. As always, not impossible, but not easy either. We're gonna see about that, but then we have a number at least. And I hope you enjoyed getting this overview of my entire physical TBR. Once again, if you saw a book that you really want to push me to read, Feel free to leave that in the comments, I might return to this video, make something with it, with the comments. Other than that, I'm feeling pretty good about this. I might have missed something, or reconsidered something, I don't know, I'm not certain. Thank you so much for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed. Please take care, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye! You gotta just go for it. Don't think about what